SwampCastSports.com. Welcome to our latest SwampCast. We are here in Tampa where we've been all week covering the Outback Bowl. Florida and Penn State uh, obviously are playing in the game. Joe Paterno and, and uh, Urban Meyer just had their press conferences. And Urban didn't really want to, unfortunately, since I have to write about it, didn't really want to talk about it being his last game. But you know, Robbie, that he's reflected on it yeah. a bunch of times this week. He's the kind of guy that is going to reflect. But right now he's saying focus, focus on the game, focus on the players getting ready to play. And It's going to be a real emotional day, Pat. I mean, we saw Steve Adazio yesterday in tears talking about his senior players. So, you know, they're kind of focused on the game right now. But at some time tomorrow, the emotions are going to flow here over Urban Meyer's last game and all these other coaches leaving too. You know, and it, you never know. It could just be a big dud of a game and, yeah. and, and the emotions may not come out because you lose 35-14 or something. But uh, and, and, again, I, I picked Penn State. I still feel pretty confident in that pick because um, Joe Paterno's bowl record, his track yeah. record has been very good. They've been down here for two weeks practicing. And Florida's going with the same offense that uh, has been pretty poor all year. Yeah, Pat, and if they can't do it for Meyer against South Carolina when the championship's yeah. on the line, when they can't do it against Florida State, you know, your arch rival, and play like they did in those two games, it makes you wonder, can, are they going to do it again? Are they going to lay another egg in a game that means so much to, to Urban Meyer and the program? So we'll see. I feel better about Florida's chances now than I did when I first got down here when I've seen how emotional some of these players have gotten how they're way behind their coach right now. Yeah, and there's no question that Florida's speed is going to be to their advantage. I mean, uh, it's, it's kind of funny that when you hear Joe Paterno talk He's about, about it. how hot it's going to be yeah. tomorrow. 75 or 75, so, yeah. okay? That's when we put sweaters on down here. here. But uh, it's certainly, it, it'll be a different game in that, you know, Paterno, for all we know, it is his last game. He, he yeah. subsists. He's not retiring, but some health issues could come up. But, you know, the question I'm going to be sitting there listening and thinking about is, are these young players ever going to buy in? Because I think that was the issue with this team. There was a divide there. Yeah. And are they, and, and maybe set, maybe in the game Saturday, they show us that, they okay, we bought in. Even today, Urban said he knows the veteran guys are going to play their, their right. hearts out and they're going to give them everything they got. And he's going, I hope the young guys kind of carry the, the standard after that. But in other words, they haven't done it this year. Right. You know, the older guy, there's a division between the way the older guys play compared to the younger guys. And the older guys are doing it, doing it the right way. And, you know, maybe these young guys have finally learned what it takes. I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. Yeah, we will. And it's going to be weird. It's like I told Irvin. I, I saw him uh, on two, before Tuesday's press conference, and I said, he goes, hey, Pat Dooley. I go, hey, Coach Meyer. I go, of course, I'm not going to be able to say that Sunday. And and that's going to be weird. It's going to be a little bit sad because he's been uh, he's done a wonderful job at Florida and has been, uh, you know, he's been really good to me and my family. So I'm going to, I'm going to miss him. But luckily, he's going to stay around. He's going to stick around. We're going to see a, a lot of him, I hope. And, uh, but it's just going to be a weird day. It Saturday. is going to be strange. But it's you know, been like, a weird bowl. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's ever broken down any yeah. anything no. football wise. No, so. nobody has at all. And uh, the beat writers are going to miss Urban Meyer. Yeah. He's been good to us. I mean, the national media takes some shots at Urban, but you don't you won't see the local guys that cover him every day taking shots at him. They like the way they've been treated by him. Absolutely. Well, we'll see what happens Saturday. I mean, I, I you know, I have no idea what's going to happen. It could I'm be leaning a, Florida now. Pat, it could be a so. blowout one way or another. It could be a close game. It could come down to the end. Who knows what's going to happen? It just it, it may end up like the Tennessee game last night. What a game that was! <laughs> you never know. So we'll see. I, I don't have a feel for this game, but I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be interesting. It's been a great week down here, and we've enjoyed it. And uh, we'll talk to you after the game with our final Swampcast this season when we wrap up Florida's 2010 football season. Until then, Pat Dooley, Robbie Andrew of the Gainesville Sun, saying so long from the Sunshine State.